Well, I thought I'd just show you this um, little experiment. <coughs> it's part of the ongoing saga with the 12 volt generator. Um, now, my last video I had uh, a 1 to 1 ratio from the engine to the alternator. But it barely worked at all, the slightest load on the alternator and installed the engine. Um, so then I tried a 2 to 1 ratio. <coughs> well, I made that pulley <coughs> from scratch that I've got on, got on the alternator there. And it's about a 2 to 1, I think it's actually one, one, about 1 1.8 to 1. Um, and that worked a bit better. I would get about 2 or perhaps 2.5 amps out of it. But when the alternator was in its um, generating phase, when it, when it was um, sufficient RPM to start generating, um, the engine wouldn't, wouldn't run very fast, because so that made me think, well, the engine is a, a more um, higher ratio, or a lower ratio, whichever way it works, between the, um, the engine and the alternator. So then I thought, well, I'll be a bit more scientific. Um, so I need to find out what the what RPM the alternator runs at when it starts generating. Because um, I find with alternators they, they start generating, and when they're the, when they're at that RPM, they don't benefit from any more RPM on top of that. If you see what I mean. Uh, so what I've done is I've put it on my lathe. Um, and I found the late spindle speed um, at the moment is 2150 RPM and the alternator generates at that speed. But, um, I tried it at the lower speed which was, um, it says on there, uh, 1480 RPM and it wouldn't generate at all and the, the warning light stayed on which is that warning light on the, um, what I put on the little control panel of the alternator, that's the same one you, have, you would have on a car. So it wasn't generating at that speed. But it does, the way I've got it set up now, which is 2150 RPM. <coughs> so what I'll do is I'll, um, well what I'll do first, I'll, sh I'll show you actually, I'll show you the current. Uh, put my hand meter on, it'll start up. Right, now I've got it um, connected to my electric bike, which gives quite a good um, variable load through experimenting. Um, and I think you'll find when I put about 10 amps or perhaps 10 and a half amps load on the alternator, it'll actually trip out the um, the thermal load load on the on the lathe in the lathe's control panel because there's really too much load for it. Um, so all right, let's give it. I'll give it a run. Uh, start the lathe up. Press start. Right now, gradually bring the clutch in and try and rev it up. Just to be a bit careful with this this high speed. Um, and we're switched on on the field, so we're not taking any, any current at the moment. So I'll start applying the load now. Uh, just make sure that's uh, switched on. Right, it's actually generating there. So if I press the accelerator pedal on the bike, just take a lot more current. Yes, yeah, so I was actually getting up to 10 amps, and the lathe's having a bit of trouble now, speeding up again. Yes. Yeah, um, Ah, yes, yeah, so it's tripped out on the thermal overload. So I think that the, the most current I can get by running the alternator on the load is about 10 amps. 
Well, you might have seen it go a bit more than that, but that's the type of um, current I'm really aiming for. Um, I'll switch that off because this smells my too weak there. Um, oh, I anyway, just have a light on. Um, right, so I think what I'll do is call the the ideal speed of the alternator, that speed that I've got it set on the load, which is about just over 2,000 RPM. So what I'll do now is measure the the speed of the engine. Now according to the ratings plugged on the side of the engine, it revs up to um, about 8,000 RPM. But I'm not sure whether that's kind of a reasonable running speed or not. So what I'll do is I'll start the engine and then I'll measure the RPM and when it seems kind of it's revving fairly high but not actually going mad I'll, I'll, I'll measure the RPM of the engine and then what I'll do is I'll, I'll work out the ratio from the RPM of the engine to the alternator to drive the alternator at the speed I was running just now so instead of a 2 to 1 reduction I might have a 3 or perhaps a 4 to 1 reduction and then I'll make a pulley and hopefully then that'll be the end of the story obviously I've got to get as much, uh, as much current out of it as I can hope to have really so I'm being a bit more I'm being a bit more scientific about it now so I um, hope you found that interesting so I'll, I'll get on there and measure the speed of the engine and get on with making a pulley so I'll see you with the next update